Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing my fall makeup look using the Morphe 3502 palette. So these are the eyes. If you want to see how I got this look, then make sure and keep on watching. Alright, so to start off this makeup routine, I'm just going to start with my Benefit Professional Primer and just prep my face. Okay, then I'm going to be using the Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray, and it looks like this, and prime my face with this. After I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to my favorite foundation. It's the e.l.f. foundation in porcelain. doesn't really say the name, but this looks like this. And... My pump isn't working anymore, so I just take it with the stick and just apply it to my face. Alright, so once I have finished that, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and it looks like that and just blending everything in. And I'm not really trying to get like a lot of coverage, I'm just trying to make my skin tone all one color and a nice base for the other makeup products that I'm going to be using. This is a really good match to my skin tone right now. I will say though, I've run out of this foundation relatively quick, like I don't feel like I've used it like that much, and I'm already pretty low, but it's only like 5 bucks, so that doesn't really matter, I'm just saying you might want to get like a couple of them, because you'll run out pretty fast if you use them pretty frequently. Alright, so now I'm going on to contouring, and I just like to use my Wet n Wild contouring stick in 805 Chloe Maple and I just like to take that and just bronze and contour just a little bit before I set my face because I feel like this really adds some natural dimension. I just feel like it makes a big difference to my face. Then on my forehead, and when you do your full, full head, when you do your forehead, you just want to pull up into your hairline to make it look more natural. And just kind of using the excess product around my nose. And under here for the appearance of bigger lips. Okay, so now I'm just going to be using a little bit of concealer. And lately I've just been using my finger because I feel like it gives me more coverage with using less product. This is what my face looks like so far. Looks kind of weird on camera, but I promise it looks fine um, in real life. And now I'm just going to be using my Stay Matte Powder by Vermeule. This is really cheap and affordable, and I definitely recommend it. 
and it's in 001 transparent. So I'm just going to be using my multitask cheek brush to set my face. And I don't set everything, like I don't set where I contour and where I highlight yet because I usually use liquid highlighter and I like, I don't know, I just like going on top of the wet bronzer. Okay, bronzer slayed. So now I go right, right into contouring and bronzing. So I'm going to start off by using my Eye Better bronzer on my multitask face brush. And this just gives me a really nice bronze. Just bronze my whole face basically with this. Now I'm gonna be using my Hula bronzer and contouring. But I'm gonna be using the same brush, just like making it basically like a big fan brush with my hands. Ooh, that actually works really well. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing that more often. I'm just gonna take the same powder and contour my nose a little bit. If you don't contour your nose and you think that you might want to do it, contouring your nose changes everything, honestly. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder just on my finger to go right up next to the nose contour. So just kind of chisel your nose out a little bit more. Now I'm going to be going on to blush. This actually isn't a blush, but I always go back to it every single time because it's like the best thing ever. It's Estee Lauder All Over Shimmer. It's amazing. It's an illuminator course. This was limited edition. I don't know if it was a limited edition just set or just a limited edition shade. So you might be able to find it. I don't know. But it's gorgeous. I just use it as my blush with my Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush, you know. And this is amazing. I feel like it's better than Milani Luminoso and every other blush that I own. Because you can apply a lot, but it's not gonna look like bad. Like you it's a blush that you can't really mess up with. Like I used a lot. So I have a lot left on my brush and it didn't make it too harsh, which is amazing. And so I think I'm going to go on to my eyes now because I don't want to go on to highlighter because I don't want to pick highlighter yet until after I'm done with my eyes. So I'll take this off my nose real fast. Just blend it away. And now we're going to go on to eyes. All right. So for eyes, I'm just going to be priming with my Milani eyeshadow primer. Looks like this. It's in a one nude. Just going to take a little bit. Ooh, or a lot, I guess. Alright, so once you have that applied, you can use a pressed powder and just set that. Or a loose powder, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and now on to your favorite part. I'm going to be using my Morphe 3502 palette. Yes, I said it. Just wait till you see what it looks like here. Like, look at this shade. This shade is so stunning. And here's the shades. This palette is beautiful. Like, look at the shades. So I use that on my lid. I use these four shades right here. I use the black. I used that shade up there. But yeah, overall this palette is so stunning. Alright, so I've already used it a couple times. And so far, I haven't gone like super, super crazy with it, but some of the shades like blend into each other and some of them 
Like, there's a lot of browns that look like the same on your eyes, and some of them don't come off the way you would think they come off. Like, I would think that, like, this shade would come off more mauve, because it looks like mauve in the package, but, like, it kind of comes off, like, burnt orange-ish. So, that's what I have to say with that. So, I'm just going to start off with the shade right up here. Using this Morphe M505 brush and just take it and kind of blend it in my crease. These shadows are super pigmented. This is the lightest shadow in the palette for mattes and it's already beating some of my darker Anastasia Madden Renaissance palette eyeshadows in darkness. So. It's good dark wise. If you love pigment, this is a good palette for warm, smoky eyes. Like, this is the stuff. Notice there's a little bit of um, fallout. If you can see that, not too bad. Not like under my eyes or anything, it's just fallout in the package. So, that's not that bad. But yeah, now I'm going to move on to this shade right here. Ooh. This shade right here is what I'm going to be using next, and using that same brush right now. This shade is really pretty. And just like tapering it out and bringing it right underneath that shade that we just blended. See, so it kind of gives it like a gradient look so it's not just like too harsh in my eye. All right, so I just finished up using that shade right there. Now we're gonna go even crazier. I'm going to go into the red shade right here. This is like pretty red, like red. Like I'll swatch it for you real fast. I need a good swatch. It's red. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking that, applying it even more, even lower than the last shade. They're basically all going to blend into each other a little bit. They also have their own area that they're thriving in. Noticed a little bit of fallout, but it's not too bad with these shades. Just gonna take another brush. This is my Real Techniques brush. It's a multitask eye brush. I'm just gonna blend everything out. And I'm gonna take the shade right here. I'm just gonna put that in my crease a little bit to kind of neutralize things and make it a little bit of a different shade. Just to add some more depth, you know. Now I'm going to take those last three shades that I used and go underneath my eye with them. Alright, so now I'm going to be going into the black, it's all the way down here, it's super black, like compared to all the colors, it's so dark. So I'm just going to be taking that shade and just adding a little bit on the very outer corner of my eye. And smoking it out. So that just has a little bit of dimension. Just 
gonna re-intensify a little bit. Alright, so it looks good now. And lid shade. I think I'm gonna go crazy and use the bright orange shimmer right here. It's a really gorgeous shade. I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. I'm going to take the same brush that I used for below my eye. I'll swatch this shade for you guys. But it's right there. I'll sw swatch the orange for you and the brown and black too. Alright guys, so I went ahead and put lashes on. But I did one more thing and I want to intensify it just a little bit more. I took this shade right here and just applied a little bit on the corner of the crazy shade. Um, I'm going to blend them with my real lashes using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This mascara is my current favorite. It's really good. And I usually just use it on my top lashes because it's a quite big wand. And now I'm just going to be using my Lash Plus Volume by CoverGirl on my lower lashes. It looks like these, you do not want to forget lower lash mascara. It adds so much to your eye look and it makes your eyes look more even, so do not forget lower lash mascara. This mascara is getting a little bit old, but it's still good. I should probably get rid of it soon, let's be honest. but. Oh, I can't concentrate with these big lashes on because you guys know that I don't usually have lashes on. So I don't know, I just don't usually buy them. The lashes that I have right now are only good for like one use. That's not supposed to be that way. That's what it seems like. So I didn't tell you guys, but the eyebrow pencil that I've been using is the next micro brow pencil in chocolate. I would definitely go up a shade the next time I buy it, but it's definitely worth it. It's 10 bucks. And it totally revamps my eyebrow game. I would definitely say that my eyebrows have been better lately and that just makes the whole look better. But yeah, on to highlighter. And the highlighter that I've been loving lately, it is my favorite highlighter. It's a uh, 321B Precious Petals Highlighter by Wet n Wild. It's a mega glow highlighting powder. I really want the palette that they just came out with, with the four different shades of this because I got lucky and I have the darkest shade that I usually use as a blush topper and then I have this one and the four shades that are in the palette are neither of the shades that I remember and they have the blue and the green in there and I really want those shades so you know I want that and I'm going to be using this Peter Thomas Roth Aloe Tonic Mist just to wet my brush. And this highlighter works so good wet. And I would recommend if you get a highlighter, use it wet and dry and see what you like better. Because this highlighter is okay dry, but like wet, it is my favorite highlighter ever. And this mist definitely gave me like a good type of mist. Like it wasn't too much mist, 
to make the highlighter look super bad. But like, look at that glow. It's crazy. I would also recommend a good glow with a super dramatic eye because you just gotta finish the look off, I mean. Pop some to my nose. My Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna take a little bit in my inner corner and on my brow bone because I don't really feel like any of these shades in my Morphe 3502 palette are light enough to be able to do either of those things. Like maybe this one, but it's actually like really gold. Alright, so I'm just finishing my video out here because it finally stopped raining. But for lips, I use my Mega Last Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick in 925B Give Me Mocha. So pretty. And I'm just gonna set my face for you guys real fast. Using the Peter Thomas Roth setting spray. Well, it's really a tonic mist, but. All right, so this is a finished look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you liked this video, please make sure and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would help me a ton. And um, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I upload a video and the question of the day is what Netflix show should I start watching I haven't watched any of them because we just got Netflix so yeah tell me what you think I should watch all right thanks for watching